Hi everyone and welcome back to our ability system series. In this episode we're carrying on and adding our final ability type which is the debuff. Previously we made it able uh, made it possible sorry to select a target and indicate that target with a red circle. So our task today is to set up the beginnings of our debuff parent and then in episode later after that we are going to uh, specify the details of that specific debuff. So let's get started with the setup for our debuff parent. So open up your ability debuff and open its full blueprint editor. And in here, it can be set up very similar to how we did the buffs. So let's take a look at the buff. And you can see the buff is handled through uh, a begin play, which is just clearing all the duplicates and then turning the play montage. This can be exactly the same as we saw on the buff. Okay, so we need to duplicate the clear duplicates function. So you need to do exactly this. So what might be best is to actually copy uh, all this. Copy. And in a debuff here, we're going to add a function here called clear duplicates. And I'm going to plug that in. Like so. Compile. Go to event graph. On begin play, we're going to call the clear duplicates function. Then we're going to add the call to parent function after. And then we're going to tell it to play the montage. And that's going to require the uh, player ref. Get mesh. and chuck it onto the target there, choosing a montage from the drop down. Okay, so that bit's exactly the same as the ability buff. Okay, so that it should match that. Okay, next we need to do the cast ability. Now the cast ability is also gonna be very, very similar. So we're gonna change the lifespan, apply the debuff, and then change the timer for the tick of the debuff. Okay, so on the ability debuff, do cast ability and do event cast ability. And as I said, it's gonna be mostly the same. Okay, so we're gonna go set lifespan. And in here we need to set up the variable of the debuff lifespan. That's gonna be a float. And we're gonna set its default value here to let's say five seconds. After that, we then turn a calling a function called apply buff. So we're gonna make another one here called apply debuff. And we'll come back to this in a minute because we're gonna add something to this. So drag that out. And after that, we're then doing a timer for the tick rate of the debuff. So we're gonna set timer by event. The event is going to be a custom event called debuff tick and the time is going to be a variable called debuff tick rate which we're going to drag in like so so each spell for example could be dealing damage every three seconds for example or every one second so in this case we're going to do every one second so I'm typing one there and it's going to be looping and at the end, we just want to store the debuff tick timer as a variable. Okay. So as I said, it's pretty much identical to the buff. However, the slight difference is that the buff is going to be by default attached to the caster. Okay. However, the debuff isn't. The debuff is going to detach itself and then attach itself to its target. Now, remember from the previous episodes, when we've done the, bu uh, the buff one, we did not use the call to function for the cast ability because the call to parent function on the cast ability detaches it from its actor, which we didn't want for the buff. However, for the debuff, we do. So at the start of this, we're going to right click and add call to parent function. And that will detach it from the player, the caster. 
So now it's detached, we then want to attach it to our target. And that's where the apply debuff function comes in. So we're gonna open this up and we're going to get the caster and not caster, sorry, get the controller, get player controller. Because we need to get access to that target, current target which we set up in the previous episode. So get player controller, cast to my controller. And we're going to get the current target. So now we've got the actual target we want to apply a debuff to. So from there, we're going to attach to, uh, is this one, I think? Yeah, target is actor. So we want the parent actor to be the current target. And the target for this is going to be itself. So leave it as self. And we're going to take it to um, snap the target in all instances, like so. So now it will take itself from the player and attach it to the current target, which we've indicated in the My Controller object. Right, so that should be it for this. Um, to indicate this, to see this working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a simple cube to this. And we're going to tell this thing to attach it when we click on the button. So it should pop onto the target which we've got selected. So first of all, let's add it to our UI. Uh, action bar. And we're just going to change the up down here to ability debuff and hit compile. Now hit play. So we're going to select the target and then hit this button here. Oh, maybe I have to turn off the uh, <laughs> the the buffs cube it's collision. Uh, no collision. That might have something to do with that. Okay, so try it again. Click a target and then hit this, and you can see the debuff is now attached to that enemy. Okay, and you can see it run out and disappear. Perfect. So that's how the debuff will work. So what we were doing in the next episode is showing you how to set up a, uh, a instance, uh, well not instance, a, a type of debuff and set up the UI to show you the debuff effect on the enemy. So with the enemy selected, we can see the enemy's health and stats and things, as well as the debuff they have currently selected on them. So if you want to watch the episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daily, where a donation of just $1 will get access to that video, plus many, many others. Big shout out and thank you to all of my patrons and my YouTube members for their continued support. None of this would be possible without you guys, so big thank you to all of you. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, as there's plenty of new content every single week, um, and live streams every single week as well. Thanks again all, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.